The Macchioli were a group of artists mainly active in Tuscany in the second half of the 19th century. This period lasted from 1855 to 1867. The term Macchioli was used by the Gazzetta del Popolo for the first time in 1862, on the occasion of a Florentine exhibition. In reality, the expression was coined by the journalists in a derogatory sense, but the painters, object of the definition, decided from then on to adopt this term as an identifier for their group. The theory maintains that the image of reality is made up of a contrast of color and light and shade spots, which can be detected using a technique called the black mirror. This means using a mirror blackened with smoke, which allows the light and shade contrast to be enhanced. The pergola, or an after lunch, is an oil painting on canvas by Silvestro Lega, made in 1868 and kept in the Pinacoteca in Brera in Milan. In the image we see the women, a little girl and a maid who is carrying a tray. The family group is placed in an external environment in the courtyard of the house. The women find themselves in the shelter of a pergola covered with vine branches. In the distance we see a landscape in which a country building is painted, a meadow and in the background a row of trees. Silvestro Lega was often a guest in the Piagentina residence of the Batelli family and took the opportunity to create works from life. In the pergola, Silvestro Lega portrays in fact a scene of family life in the open air. The most common color in the painting is green. The paving of the courtyard is ochre in color, lighter in the light areas. The maid wears a beige dress with a white apron and carries a coffee pot. The lady in the foreground is wearing a light beige dress decorated with black lace. Behind her is a woman dressed in black who is lovingly looking at the little girl. The little girl is standing next to another seated lady and is wearing a pink dress and a headband in her black hair. The courtyard space is created through progression of the large stone tiles. Their escape points to a point on the left edge of the painting at the horizon line. The rest of the space is built by the overlapping of the rooms that follow one another in depth. The horizon is placed at two-thirds of the height of the pictorial plane, upwards and allows to give space to the remoteness of the landscape towards the background trees.